I greet you in Jesus' precious name. I want to speak to you today about the promiser. Now, you know, folks, never make a promise you can't keep. I really want to caution you there, especially young people. Don't open your mouth and make an outrageous promise and then you break it. Especially in a situation at home, maybe between a father and a son, between two businessmen and mostly between you and your wife. Don't do that. Because if you break that promise, you break that trust. And sometimes that trust can take a, a lifetime to restore. And only God can do it. Be very slow to make that promise and be very quick to keep it. Now, if we go to Hebrews chapter 11, and I'm reading verse 8, this is what the Word of God says. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as his inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. Abraham went to an unknown destination. He didn't know where he was going, folks. His, his trust was not in the place he was going to because he didn't know where he was going. I left Zambia almost 50 years ago, not knowing where I was going to go. I just knew I had to leave Zambia. I came across the mighty Zambezi River on a pontoon with, a, with my truck and trailer and everything I could fit in it. I want to say to you today, don't put your hope in the promise. Put your hope in the promiser. That's it. See, there's the key. Not the promise, the promiser. God told Abraham to pack up all his stuff, take his wife, his children, all his servants, all his cattle. He was, he was one of the richest men in the Middle East, Abraham. Did you know that? Leave everything behind and go to an unknown destination. Why did he, he do it? He had no idea where he was going to because he knew the promiser. That's why Abraham's called the father of faith. Not because he was a good man. No, no, he was the same as you and I, an ordinary man, but because he trusted God. Remember, God gave him his heart's desire, gave him a beautiful son, Isaac. And then when he came of age, he said, I want him back. The Bible says he tested Abraham. He didn't tempt him, he tested him. And when he tested Abraham, Abraham remained faithful to the promiser, not the promise. And when he offered his own son back, the Lord was absolutely amazed. And that's why he called him my friend. He's the only man where God looked down from heaven and said, you see that farmer Abraham? He's my friend because he trusted me. Put your trust today in the promiser, not the promise, okay? Not the project, not the calling, not the ministry, in the promiser, in God. And then all these other things will come into line. There's a young man's come to visit me today. He's got a t-shirt on. And on his t-shirt, he's got Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, which says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Keep your eyes on the promiser. Get to know him. And the promise is just a format. It'll just happen because he will make it happen. If you put all your heart, your mind, your soul in your ministry, in your degree, in your own ability, you're going to come very short. You won't, make, you won't be able to fulfill it. But if you put your heart and your mind and your soul in God, in His Son, Jesus Christ, He will see you through. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.